In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use use effect hook in the React application and we are going to take a look at how use effect hook change behavior according to the parameter. So let me just back to the effect hook component and let me just get rid of this JSX. Let me get rid of this import statement as well. And now let me create a simple example to understand how use effect hook work in React application. So I'm going to first simply create here a state. So I'm going to say here constant in the array. I'm going to say here message the initial value of the state. I'm going to create here a variable message and say here set message. And then I'm going to call here use state. And inside this use state, I'm going to simply say hi there. How are you? So this is the initial value of this message variable. So I'm going to just initialize this message variable with this value. Just have that inside this division tag here, I'm going to simply create h1 heading tag and say in the curly braces message just like this. And then just out of the state here, I'm going to add use effect hook. So I'm going to just simply say here use effect and pass a callback function as a first argument just like this. And then here I'm going to say console.log and in the double quote, I'm going to say trigger use effect hook. And just after that, here I'm going to call set timeout. And as a callback function, I'm going to say here set message. And inside it, I'm going to say I am fine. Thanks for asking. And just out of that, as a second argument, I'm going to pass here 1000. Now you can notice here using use effect hook, we're going to first print this value. And then using this set timeout after one second, I'm going to change this message and print I am fine. Thanks for asking. Let me save these changes and execute this program. When I execute my program, you can see after one second, the react will change his state variable. You can notice in the console, we have here a message trigger use effect hook. So the important thing here is the use effect hook is executing two times when we have only a callback function as a first argument to this use effect. This will execute this use effect first when the component is mounted and when the state is changed, react will execute this use effect hook again. Now, just for that, let me pass here a parameter with empty array, just like this. Let me save the changes. As you can see, the use effect is executing only once after the component mounted. If I reload the browser, you can notice this use effect hook is going to execute only once after the component mounted because we pass here an empty array as a second argument to this use effect. Now, this is the second behavior of this use effect hook. If you don't want to execute this use effect hook again, when your state or property changes, then you can pass here an empty array. And if I remove this second argument from this statement, just like this, then use effect will trigger two times. First after the component mounted and then when the state change. Now, let me explain the third behavior of this use effect. Let me just specify here comma and specify here an array. And inside this array, I'm going to pass a dependency. I'm going to pass this message in this array like this. Now, let me see the changes. As you can see, the use effect hook trigger two times. First, after the component mounted and second, when the state change. When your state changes, use effect will automatically execute. Now, let me explain the difference between this empty array and with this message variable. Now, if you remove this message variable from this array, then this function will execute whenever you change the property or state of your component. It will execute this use effect anytime when the state changes. Right now, this use effect hook is not depends on any state or property. So this will execute every time when the state changes or the property changes. But when you pass here a message, this use effect will only execute after the component mounted and when the message state variable changes. Now, if you have a property of this component and if you change that, that this hook will not execute because right now this hook it only depends on this message variable. It will only execute after the component mounted and when the message state changes. So this is the third behavior of this use effect hook. Now let me add here a button just down here and pass here on click event. And to this on click, I'm going to say E. I'm going to pass an handler function here and say here set message and inside it, I'm going to pass state updated just like this. And inside this button, I'm going to say update button. Let me save this file. You can notice the react will trigger use effect two times. It will first execute this use effect after the component mounted and then execute it again when the state changes. 
Now let me just click on this update button and change the state again. As you can see, this will trigger this use effect hook again. And after one second, when this set timeout change the state again, use effect hook will automatically trigger. So this is very important to understand how use effect hook work in React application. Use effect is mostly used to make API calls and to fetch the data from the database. So I hope you understand how use effect hook change their behavior according to their parameter. Next, we're gonna see how to share the data between components.